So I'm going to show you how to duplicate the call to action button on your home page. Uh, I would consider this a bit of advanced customization. You do have to mess with the code a little bit, um, but I'm going to walk you through it. So hopefully you can do this on your own. Um, first thing before we get started though, uh, make sure before you do any code editing changes, you create a backup of your theme. That way, if something goes wrong, and you don't really remember what you changed. You can revert to a previous version. Um, cause if you don't do that backup, uh, we don't, we don't actually store, um, any changes you've made. So, uh, previously, so make sure that's done first. So what I'm going to do here, um, looking at all our themes, we have this main call to action button. And if you look at every single theme, every single one has one. And that's because this button is super important to how users navigate through your site and actually buy your content. Um, I'm sure you've seen these big buttons on a lot of websites you visited. So it's important to always have a call to action button here, but there's scenarios where, uh, you might want to have two call to action buttons that go to different places right now all the call to action buttons go to your subscription page. But maybe I'm selling bundles in my store as my primary source of revenue. And I want to showcase two different bundles here. So let's actually work on uh, duplicating that. And there's two parts of this. We need to duplicate first the button. We also need to duplicate um, the setting so that I can easily change it in the future. When I go to uh, my homepage customization and click on main banner, which is one of the blocks here, and every theme is going to call this something a little different, um, you'll see that ability to change the button right here. And so I not only need to duplicate the button, but I need to duplicate these settings. So let's get started with that. The first thing we're going to do is go to the code editor. And these, these snippets aren't always named uh, kind of correctly according to what we just saw on that previous page. So typically what I like to do is I like to go to this index.liquid um, template here. And I can see the first section of my block is called hero banner. And these other ones, like there was a YS section, there was a featured um, or promoted category. Um, but I'm going to look for this hero banner snippet. So let's click on it. And if you remember what we saw under um, the customization there, there was title, there was description. And what do you know? Here's our uh, call to action section. So what we need to do, I'm going to go to this line 18. I'm going to drag my mouse and actually copy up to this H2 just out the side of it. I'm going to copy this, put my uh, cursor here and just hit paste. Um, and that's it kind of nicely formats it so that it's all nice and clear. If you... Sometimes if you like press enter on a new line, you're going to have these gaps and stuff. So that's just why I like to highlight it that way. So we, we need to actually change this and we're just going to call this, um, CTA URL two and CTA text two. Okay. And what we've done, we can just save this now and we're going to see probably a wonky button here. The, the code, the CSS code and the format is not applied. But this is just the first step. So it's perfect. It's there. We have our second button. And now we need to add that ability to edit in the settings under the homepage customization, the ability to edit this uh, button here. So that's going to be done under settings.json. And basically all those blocks we saw, they're kind of formatted here. Um, and nicely, our hero banner is one of the first ones. And when, again, we see title, description, background color is something you could change. Um, but we need to get down to that CTA area here. So, so what I'm going to do is actually copy this entire section and you'll note, okay, so this is a little tricky here, but each of these have a comma at the end, except for the last one. So what I, what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to copy this comma as well. And then we'll just click here and we'll hit paste. And so now all these have commas at the end, except for that last one, just like it was. Now, if I save this, it's going to throw errors because it doesn't like when you have um, two things with the same ID. So again, I'm going to use this ID call to uh, action text to call to action URL to, and just to make it a bit more clear in the settings editor, I'm just going to edit this a little bit too, and we'll hit save. And so now if I refresh, there we go. We got our two buttons side by side. And now let's go back to customization and click customize homepage customization, main banner. And just like we, we did in the, in the code there, now I have my two buttons and I can adjust them accordingly. So in the example I kind of use for the reason you might do this, you might have bundle one and bundle two, and then you have two nice buttons here. 
So typically, um, it's going to go to that join page by default, as I mentioned, but then you can go to bundles and choose bundle and pick a bundle. I don't, I don't have any bundles in my store right now, uh, but usually you would see a big list here. So yeah, that's the basics of um, adding buttons. There might be sometimes a little more you need to do. Um, you'll kind of note here, that looks okay. That looks okay. But maybe sometimes I want that on a second line. And th there's ways to do that. Like if, if I show you this, um, we'll click on, cust actually it's not customize, we'll go to code editor. And then we will go back to that, um, what was that again? Hero banner liquid, okay. And here's my call to action. So there's a thing called a line break. Right? It's just this, these corner brackets, BR. And then let's check what that looks like. So it's stacked them. They're still a little close. So in some situations, I might just add a second BR. And there, now I got a space. So that's just a cool little way you could you can have them stacked instead of side by side. Um, sometimes, if, depending on how many buttons you have, it, it's kind of up to you how you want to display that. So I'm going to remove that and get back to how it was because I like it this way. And that's it for adding a duplicated call to action button.